Hey babes, welcome to my channel. Sorry I look a little bit like a potato today with eyebrows drawn on, but that is because today we're doing a contour and highlight for beginners. And I'm gonna be using all affordable products from the drugstore. So if you wanna see how to sculpt your face, okay. keep on watching. So first a little contouring 101. When I was in cosmetology school, they gave us textbooks. In the textbooks, they had everything you needed to know about doing makeup, sculpting, highlighting, face shapes, all that jazz. So in the textbooks, it says that the ideal face shape is oval. That's what I guess contouring and highlighting was made for, was to create the oval face shape, which is the ideal face shape. Well, that's gone out the wind. Nobody cares about that shit anymore. We don't really go by those rules. Makeup has no rules. Anyways, in those textbooks, it says that contours make things recede, so it's going to make it look like it's back or sucked in, it's deeper in the face. And a highlight is what brings things out at you. So a highlight is going to draw attention to things and a contour is gonna make things recede. In my opinion, there is no ideal face shape. So really for me, contouring and highlighting is just all about bringing out the best features in your face. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to do that. First, I'm gonna start with a little bit of bronzer. I'm gonna use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is a really great bronzer because it's not too orangey. It has a nice neutral undertone, maybe even leaning a little bit on the cool side, so it's good for fair skin tones like myself, and it's gonna make you look like you just got kissed by the sun a little bit, and I can smell it right now. It smells like pina colada. In my opinion, these two kinds of brushes are really great for bronzer. This is a flat pal brush, but it's still very fluffy. This is a Morphe M527. And this is a duo fiber brush, so it's gonna apply things a little bit more softly to your face. And this is a Real Techniques duo fiber face brush. I'm gonna go with this brush today because I really like how it applies this particular bronzer. Bronzing is just going to give you a little bit of dimension to your face. We're not sculpting with this or anything. We're just creating a little bit more dimension in the face to look like we're not a real potato. Just lightly brushing it back and forth. If you have a small forehead, you can probably skip this step. So I don't apply any bronzer to my cheeks or anywhere else on my face, maybe sometimes on my nose in the summertime, just because I'm very pale and it can look a little orangey on the cheek area and take away from the blush and the contour and everything. For contour, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. It looks like this. I'm gonna go in with this cool tone shape. I have three brushes here that I like to use for contouring. This one's a Wet n Wild brush. It doesn't have a name on it. I got this from the Dollar Tree. This is really great. It's nice and soft and fluffy. I really like the angle on it. It's a little bit more tapered than most angle brushes like this. Or we have the Morphe R5 brush. This one's really good because it has a little bit of a point at the top and then the edges are gonna blend out your contour for you. And then this is a Real Techniques Dual Fiber Contour Brush. This one is nice because it's really tapered, it's nice and skinny, and because it's dual fiber, it's not gonna apply your product too heavily. So I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild brush, and I'm just going to tap into that lightest, coolest color. And I'm gonna find where my cheekbone is, and I'm gonna carve out just underneath that. Usually your cheekbone starts at the top of your ear. You can feel where the hollows of your cheeks might be, and that's right where you wanna put your contour. So I like to hold this brush right at the ferrule and pinch it a little bit when I'm making my first few strokes. I'm just gonna go right at the top of the ear and bring it straight down. If you don't have a lot of volume in your cheeks and you wanna create a fuller cheek, you can curve the brush under a little bit. But for me or anyone who has a little bit of a chubba face, I'm just gonna go straight down. Almost angled towards the corner of your mouth. And we're not gonna blend below our contour line, we're only gonna blend up and we're just lightly going back and forth, back and forth. And then I like to flip my brush from the angle pointing back to the angle pointing up and just give it a little soft blend. And then there you can see you get a nice defined line in the hollows of your cheeks. You don't have to contour anything else on your face if you don't want to. This is going to give your face enough definition. But if you want to take it a little bit further, you can contour in the temples and underneath the jawline. The temples, I like to just dab a little bit of product on each temple. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you think of a really, really slender, sunken in face, the natural 
indents would be right here, right here, and on the temples. Next, we're gonna carve out the jaw. A lot of people make a big mistake of taking their brush and contouring right under here on the double chin. You don't wanna do that. Wherever your contour line starts is where your shadow would start. So if your shadow is starting under here, no. But if your shadow is starting here, it gives the appearance of a more sculpted jawline. So I'm just taking a little, little bit of product this time, barely touching my skin. So now you can see from the front and from the side, that gives me a more sculpted jaw area. Now highlight is everybody's favorite part, not so much me, I may have the unpopular opinion. I prefer to like to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow, but on my cheek area, I have a lot of textured skin. So I'm not too much into highlighting pretty intensely on the cheekbone, but I'm gonna do it for today's video. I'm just going in with the highlight color from the same NYX palette. And for brushes, we have a tiny paddle brush, a fan brush, and a round brush. This is gonna give you a little bit more of a heavy-handed application, especially if it's a natural hairbrush. This is a Real Techniques contour brush, and this is not natural hair though. This brush is gonna give you a little bit more of a precise application because it's smaller and it is flat. And this is a, this is a Real Techniques setting brush. And this is a fan brush. This can also be placed flat on the face but fan brushes are meant for just barely dusting on a little bit of product, so it's actually not gonna give you a really intense application. This is a Morphe E60. I prefer the smaller, flatter type brush, so I'm gonna go in with that Real Technique setting brush. I'm gonna tap my brush into that highlight color. This highlight is actually really pretty for this palette. And you can kind of see a little bit where my face is already naturally catching the light, and that's where I'm going to place my highlight. Starting just at the tip of the brow, coming down onto the apple of the cheek because if you were to smile, that's naturally where your cheek would catch the light. You don't wanna place it too close underneath your eye. A lot of people make that mistake. And if you have any type of sunken in under eye or blue purple tones underneath your eye, it's just gonna make that way more obvious. I haven't used this highlight in a little while. I forgot how beautiful it is. I'm just, just gonna keep petting my face, don't mind me. I always like to go in with my damp beauty blender. She's a little bit used and abused today. And I like to blend out that highlight. That's really gonna help press it into the face and prevent you from having a stripe of highlight. I like to go on the tip of my nose, just with the tip of my brush. And then softly bring it up the bridge and in between the eyebrows just a little bit because that's also where your face would naturally catch the light. And then pop a little bit on the cupid's bow. Now we are sculpted and highlighted and we're gonna go in with some blush. This is the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush. You can find this at Ulta in the drugstore section, so I still consider it drugstore. So the two brushes that I like to use for blush are the Real Techniques buffing brush. This brush is flat top and it's a little bit dense, so it's gonna apply your blush a little bit more intensely. This is really good for ColourPop blushes. This one is the Morphe E3 brush. I like this because it has a nice tapered dome shape, fits perfectly onto the cheek, and then you just swirl that bitch out. So I'm just gonna pat just a little bit. Oh shit, that's a lot. For me, I have a lot of volume in my cheeks, so I'm not gonna place my blush right on the apples. I'm gonna place it a little bit farther back, and I'm gonna blend it into my highlight, which is also gonna make the highlight melt into the skin a little bit more. Fuck! <laughs> Why you have to be so pigmented? Okay, wipe some of that off. Please, Lord. Please, Lord, blend out. I like to use padding and sweeping motions, so I'm padding and sweeping back, or circular motion. You know, this is real life. Shit happens. You look like a clown. So you just fucking take your bronzer brush and try and blend that shit in and hope for the best. 
So yeah guys, that's all there is to contouring and highlighting. I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked that I used drugstore products. So if you know any other drugstore products that are good for contouring and highlighting, please leave it in the comments below because I need more of that in my life. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! First, I'm going to start with a little contour. What is that person? Oh my god. Fuck, motherfucker. Why did I say fucking so so much? I really like to eat this. Oh god, I got spit on my. I have spit on my eyelash because I went batshit crazy.